Welcome to the another episode of Learning Krita. We are here again to learn how to configure Krita for touch friendly interface. This video will now cover new features from Krita 5.3 and beyond, which will help in achieving more user friendly way to get touch based tablet experience like on Android tablet. This is more like a part 2 of my first video where I have discussed how to customize some gestures to pick color easily and enable one finger pop up palette. Those will remain the same, so check that video out. Just remember, this time around, we are not going to use canvas only or full screen mode. Okay, fire up the standard Krita which has all the dockers on the right and one on the left. For now, I am going to remove all the dockers on the right. And for the left one, I am going to drag down to the bottom and adjust. The bill information seems useless to me, so I am going to remove it by checking show status bar in view. By default, the toolbars are locked and can't be moved. So go to settings and uncheck lock toolbar. Now let's move the main toolbar to the left. We need to configure this more. But first let's clean this up. Go to setting and configure toolbar. Select brush and stuff and remove brush composite. Much cleaner. Moving on to the main toolbar you can add more buttons. For me first and foremost I am going to add docker box. This is a new feature in Krita 5.3 where dockers can be accessed through a button. I'm also going to add undo, redo and eraser. Now in the docker box you can configure which dockers will be shown and which to ignore. So click and add all the dockers you need. I need layers, colors, brush etc. One more step remains, the pop-up palette. This can be made visible via right click in desktop and by long finger press on tablet as I have shown in my last video. The pop-up palette is also enhanced and now you can click on this arrow which can again get docker access. Enable the needed dockers the same way. This workflow now has two hand working mode. With left hand you can access docker, eraser, undo or redo and with the right you can use pop-up palette essentially giving access to two dockers with one click. Brush selection size and opacity can be controlled from the top and tools from the bottom. This gives the minimal interface without using the canvas only mode. This new workflow has sped up my working by a few folds and I am glad Krita devs were able to push such useful features in Krita and you can donate to this free and open source software by going to krita.org. See you next time. Bye.